Unit 14. Exercise 1. Random sampling doesn't mean just choosing the people to participate in the study haphazardly. There's a difference between the meaning of the word random in everyday use and its meaning in statistics and research methods. A random sample is a sample in which every member of the population has an equally likely chance of being selected for the study, and that isn't as easy as it sounds. Most sampling methods will unconsciously favor some people and not others. Picking names at random out of a telephone directory means that people who are X directory or who don't use landlines are not going to be included. In a psychological study, that could introduce a bias because those people may be different from others in some important way, for example, by being younger or more suspicious of strangers. Exercise 2. Spatial position can be indicative of social status. Historical analyses of hundreds of paintings indicate that when two people appear in the same picture, the more dominant, powerful person is usually facing to the right. For example, relative to men, women are more often displayed showing the left cheek, consistent with gender roles that consider them as less agentic. In other words, Traditionally weak and submissive characters have been assigned to their respective place by where they are situated in space. From the 15th century to the 20th century, however, this gender bias in paintings has become less pronounced, therefore, paralleling increasingly modern views of women's role in society. Exercise 3. Within travel destinations, it is not uncommon to see higher sticker prices in areas most frequented by tourists. Prices are much lower elsewhere where locals shop. A few smart tourists soon learn to get away from these tourist traps to find better deals where there are not as many tourists. Most tourists will not because it doesn't pay to spend their scarce vacation time attempting to find cheaper restaurants, souvenirs, and so on outside the tourist areas. If the time spent in searching and shopping for the best deals is included as part of the prices of the purchases, prices are actually lower in the tourist areas for most tourists. In sum, locational price differences are generally not considered price discrimination. Exercise 4. The desire for esteem can be used effectively by society to influence how people act. Systems of prestige are found in all cultures, and in general, prestige is used to recognize and reward people who do what is most useful to the culture. People will labor for years, even decades, in the hope of securing the esteem of their fellows and the accompanying right to think well of themselves. By linking prestige and esteem to particular activities or accomplishments, a culture can direct many people to devote their energies in those directions. It is no accident that in small societies struggling for survival, prestige comes with bringing in large amounts of protein, hunting, or defeating the most dangerous enemies, fighting. By the same token, the prestige of motherhood. Probably rises and falls with the society's need to increase population, and the prestige of entertainers rises and falls with how much time and money the population can devote to leisure activities. Music